Google Shopping Ads are Google's ad formats specifically for advertising physical products. They combine text and images to create a compelling advert which encourages users to click. They take data from the Google Merchant Center in order to populate the ads. So a merchant has to create a feed which goes into the Google Merchant Center and this is linked with a Google Ads account and combined they create these adverts which then appear in the Google search. These ads are simple to set up and they are charged on a cost per click basis. They are generally considered to be a more effective advertising format for physical products and they make up a large proportion of the adverts on Google. So how do they work? As an advertiser, you need to generate a product feed and this is fed into the Google Merchant Center. If you're using a platform like Shopify, this will automatically generate your feed for you and you can just link it with Google Merchant Center. You also need to set up a Google AdWords account and you would set up the campaign in Google AdWords account. These campaigns will take the product data from Google Merchant Center. The campaign will then create ads on the Google search pages and also on other sites, for example, Google search partners. So where do Google search ads appear? They will appear on the shopping tab of Google search. They will also appear on, the, on Google search and Google image search, and also in Google search partner sites if you've chosen this option. So here's an example search for a product called Sophie the Giraffe, which is one of my favorites. You can see at the top here, there's some adverts which are relevant to the search query. If you click on the Chevron button, you'll see more results. As you can see, the adverts are very closely related to the search term in this case. The advert consists of a, a main image and a link to the merchant site, which is linking to the title from the title of the product. It also includes information about the return and there can be other information here, for example, any offers that you've uploaded. Adverts will also appear on the shopping tab. The shopping tab is more like a kind of traditional product search engine and it has adverts at the top. These are the sponsored ads here, which are like on the other page. And there are also free listings at the bottom. If a user clicks on these ads, then you will get free traffic to your product. So you get this for free as well as the traffic that you get from your ads. On the image search, there is also product search ads at the top. So what are the benefits of Google Shopping ads over other Google ad formats? First, they're easy to set up. When creating campaigns, you don't need to set any targets. Google will serve your ads to the most relevant searches based on its machine learning. In my experience, this actually works pretty effectively. Of course, this does give you less control. Now, these are highly targeted ads, which means you can reach customers when they're in a buying mode. They're also very effective, and research has shown that they are perform better for physical products than other ad formats, for example, search ads. They're also available internationally. So not only can you advertise your products in your home country, but you can create other you can create international feeds, which means you can advertise products all over the world. And I found this is a very, very good way of getting more sales. So what are the different types of shopping campaigns? There are two types of shopping campaigns which you can choose. Performance Max is Google's highly automated machine learning advertising format, which requires very little setup. Or there are Google standard shopping ads, which have require more setup and more control, but are more difficult to set up. So let's just compare the two. So to set up a Performance Max account, you really only need to set up two things. One is your feed and secondly is your target. So you need to set your, your ROAS target. So what percentage return do you want on your ads and also you and supply your shopping feed. And that is pretty much all you need to do. Now with Google standard shopping, you have much more control. You can set negative keywords. You can set things like your location targeting. You can set, you can set uh, scheduling, but it, it take a long time. And in my experience, it, performance is not necessarily that much better. My advice overall is to use Performance Max because it is much easier to set up and the performance is pretty good.